Across the vast plains of the Serengeti, lions reign as the largest and most dominant hunters on land. These powerful felines can reach nearly twice the height of an average human, and the largest individuals can weigh as much as a fully grown brown bear, the second largest land predator alive today. Beyond their impressive size, lions are also renowned for their grace and intelligence, traits that have helped them command the savannas and grasslands. Just as today's lions are formidable, their ancestors were equally fearsome. But among them all, one species truly stands out. Not only was it larger than modern lions, but it was also the biggest cat to have ever walked the earth, the American lion. The existence of this remarkable cat first came to light in the 1800s when fragments of its skull were discovered in Mississippi. From the start, it was evident that the specimen belonged to a feline, initially thought to represent a new species within the Felis genus, which includes the domestic cat. However, as more American lion fossils were unearthed, paleontologists began to recognize its closer resemblance to larger cats, leading to its reclassification within the Panthera genus, the group that includes today's lion, tiger, jaguar, leopard, and snow leopard. The modern lion in particular played a key role in this shift, as the American lion shared many of its physical traits. The two species were so similar in body shape and features that the American lion was eventually classified as a lion subspecies, earning the scientific name Panthera leo atrox. This new designation also inspired its common name, the American lion, a tribute to both its lineage and its North American habitat. However, much like the case of the dire wolf, research has revealed that the American lion was, in fact, not a true lion. Despite the many similarities, the two cats differ too greatly to be classified as the same species. These distinctions include the American lion's more robust build, lack of a developed mane, proportionally longer legs, and a uniquely shaped skull. While still part of the Panthera genus, it was reclassified as Panthera atrox, meaning the cruel panther, a name that reflects its formidable size and arsenal of predatory adaptations. The studies that clarified its unique nature also sparked debate about its closest relatives. Some suggested that the tiger or jaguar might be a closer match. However, DNA analysis later confirmed that the lion remains its closest living relative. DNA analysis indicates that the American lion likely evolved from an early population of cave lions that became isolated south of the North American continental ice sheet around 340,000 years ago during the Pleistocene. The study also suggests that the last common ancestor of the American lion and the modern lion lived between 500,000 and 1.9 million years ago. Over time, the American lion not only evolved into its own distinct species, but also grew to an immense size. Paleontologists estimate that an average adult American lion was about 25% larger than an African lion. Some individuals reached even greater proportions, as the species exhibited significant sexual dimorphism and size variability. Larger males typically weighed between 350 and 420 kilograms, placing them far beyond any living feline and making them contenders for the title of largest cat ever. Only the Smilodon and Panthera fossilis are considered close rivals in size, with Smilodon holding a slight edge at a maximum weight of 470 kilograms, larger than the average adult polar bear. Yet, new fossil evidence uncovered in 2012 revealed that exceptionally large American lions could surpass even these giants, with estimates suggesting these individuals weighed up to 520 kilograms. At this size, they would have outweighed eight adult humans, solidifying their status as the largest felines to have ever lived. This massive size combined with a powerful bone structure and long legs, 
did not hinder their agility. Conservative estimates suggest they could reach speeds over 48 kilometers per hour, making them among the most fearsome predators of their era. Despite their impressive speed, the American lion is believed to have relied on ambush tactics to capture prey rather than chasing it over long distances. In these surprise attacks, they likely used their powerful retractable claws and lethal bite to bring down their targets. Evidence supporting this hunting style includes fossils like Blue Babe, a frozen steppe bison discovered with deep claw wounds and bite marks that match those of an American lion. The bite of the American lion was particularly formidable, delivering immense power for a feline. Its massive, robust skull allowed it to drive its 10-centimeter canines deep into prey with a force of 1,800 pounds per square inch, nearly three times the strength of a modern lion's bite and six times stronger than that of the Smilodon, whose saber teeth limited its bite force. The incredible power of the American lion is further highlighted by one especially unlucky victim, a gray wolf that found itself trapped in the lion's powerful jaws near California's La Brea tar pits. Although the wolf somehow managed to escape with its life, it didn't emerge unscathed. The lion's immense bite force had completely severed its right femur, taking a significant portion of its leg. This encounter vividly demonstrates the staggering strength of this massive cat. But the American lion wasn't just a powerhouse, it also appears to have been quite intelligent. Its large brain case suggests a level of intellect, as does the fact that many living species within the Panthera genus are known for their intelligence. Additional clues to its smarts come from the ancient tar traps scattered throughout the United States. During the Pleistocene, countless herbivores fell victim to these tar pits, which subsequently attracted predators. Interestingly, although the American lion was one of the most prevalent carnivores of its time, its remains are rarely found in these pits. In contrast, large numbers of its competitors, like the dire wolf and Smilodon, are commonly discovered there. This suggests that the American lion may have possessed heightened intelligence, allowing it to avoid these deadly traps more effectively than its rivals. In addition to its intelligence, the American lion likely shared several other advantageous traits with its modern relatives, including exceptional vision, smell, and hearing. Paleontologists believe its hearing was acute enough to detect sounds from over 1.5 kilometers away. Its sense of smell may have been even more impressive, with some suggesting it could pick up the scent of prey located several kilometers away. Armed with these impressive traits and its massive size, the American lion was a formidable predator capable of taking down a wide range of prey, including deer, horses, camels, tapirs, peccaries, rodents, and steppe bison. The steppe bison in particular appears to have been a favorite, as multiple specimens show evidence of American lion attacks. This predator may have even targeted the giant Colombian mammoth that roamed alongside it. While it's uncertain if it could bring down adult mammoths, this capability would likely depend on whether the American lion hunted in prides. Currently, there is no conclusive evidence to confirm pride behavior, with some paleontologists suggesting its large size hints at a solitary lifestyle, while others argue that its closest living relative's pride-based structure might indicate similar behavior. If the American lion did hunt in prides, it would have had a reasonable chance at taking down mature mammoths. However, even as a solitary hunter, it may still have posed a significant threat to young mammoths. Research indicates that while very young mammoths were well protected by their herds, they reached a stage where they began to venture away from their mothers to forage, but remained small enough to be vulnerable to American lions. This period, thought to span from around two to nine years of age, provided a key hunting opportunity as mammoths at the upper end of this age range could weigh up to two tons. 
the American lion's focus on hunting younger megafauna extended to other large herbivores, such as the American mastodon. Paleontologists believe that it, along with other top predators like wolves, dire wolves and saber-toothed cats, posed a significant threat to these young populations. Together, these predators are thought to have contributed to as much as 20% of all deaths among juvenile megafauna. The American lion's success as a hunter is evident not only in its diverse diet, but also in its extensive range, spanning most of the United States and parts of Canada and Mexico throughout the Middle and Late Pleistocene, with fossils dating back 340,000 years. Within this range, it favoured open plains and savannas, avoiding the dense boreal forests of eastern Canada and the northeastern United States. Some of these plains and savannas experienced harsh, cold weather, particularly during the last glacial maximum, between 20,000 and 26,000 years ago. To endure these conditions, the American lion likely sought shelter in caves and may have lined its den with grass and leaves, a behavior observed in the Siberian tiger today. Remarkably well-preserved specimens reveal that this feline had a dual-layered coat, an outer layer of protective guard hairs, and a dense undercoat. This combination provided added insulation against the cold and likely gave the American lion a reddish hue. Although the American lion's environment was often cold, its habitat was rich with life. It coexisted with many iconic Ice Age animals, including not only its primary prey and competitors, but also homotherium, cougars, coyotes, black bears, short-faced bears, jaguars, pronghorns, wood bison, long-horned bison, bighorn sheep, stag moose, giant beavers, ground sloths, and glyptodonts. Since the American lion roamed the land as recently as 20,000 years ago, it coexisted with humans, who may have been one of its primary threats. This idea is supported by the discovery of American lion bones in trash heaps near Paleolithic human settlements. Some researchers speculate that human activity may have played a role in the American lion's eventual extinction. The exact timing of the American lion's extinction remains uncertain, though the youngest fossils are currently dated to around 12,800 years ago. This date aligns with a quaternary extinction event that wiped out much of the megafauna of that era. Just as the exact timing is unknown, the precise cause of this extinction event is also unclear. However, in recent years, two leading theories have emerged human overhunting and climate change, which may have worked together as a powerful double impact on megafauna, potentially contributing to the demise of the largest cat of all time, the American lion. If you are interested in learning more about other big cats, check out my other video right here, where we will talk about the largest tiger that ever existed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you there.